Okay, welcome back to another video. Um, in the last video, we looked at just creating a frame and a label widget. Um, we're going to create another widget over here, which will be another label. Um, but this will this will hold the score, and we'll put it at the top on the top right of this frame. Okay, and I, of course, these are all just examples that I'm doing uh, for for uh, for this program. You can put the stuff wherever you want, really. Okay, um, but you have to just uh, get used to using these relative re relative height and the relative x and so on. Okay, um, what we probably want to do is just comment this a little bit before we move on. So um, just say main title of the program for that bit and um, so yeah, main uh, title and frame for the program. Okay, so that's all of that. Right, and you could put a comment here saying main title. Right, so the next bit what we want to do is put uh, the score in here. So we will uh, we'll do a comment now. Um, score uh, we can call this main title for example uh, label widget just so that you're used to using these names and score with label widget don't need a bit of capitals there really okay right so this one um, make sure win main loops just at the bottom of this Okay, so this one we're just going to actually uh, give it an identifier name because we're probably going to need to refer to the score to change the score in the future. All right, so this is a label. And then, of course, you have to do then score dot place and place it on the screen. Okay, now we want to put this inside our title frame again. So we'll just put this in here and then comma. And then the next thing we're going to do is put, of course, some text in there. And we'll do, just for the moment, we'll just say score uh, is equal to zero. Now, this, we cannot do this because this is just a fixed, um, a fixed label. So we'll want to change it, of course, but we'll uh, leave it like that for the moment. And uh, we'll uh, just add some extra bits to this. So we will uh, say the anchoring for this um, to be um, to the right and the foreground color and the background color as well. So um, I'm just going to do a comma. I'll say anchor. Now, I can't remember whether I just uh, need to put right or, or I need to put east or something like that. So we'll, uh, we'll try it out anyway. Um, and here we need to place it, of course, as well. So we're going to do relative x, and uh, I'm going to put it at about 0 0.8. Okay, so 80% of the screen over to the over 80% of the screen, and then you can do the width of it. So rel width, and I'm going to do it like 0.2. We'll probably have to play around with these a little bit. They're probably not going to be exactly the way you want it. So rel height, and I'll just do that as one again, like I did for the previous label up here. Now you notice I'm starting to put these underneath like this. You don't have to. Um, you can put them, as I say, beside each other, but sometimes it's easier just to look at them like that, as in sort of uh, different, uh, different rows for each one. Okay, so now we've got the score. Uh, we've uh, anchored it and put it to the right. Let's just see if that works. Now, if you do get a, an error, well, we you, you should be able to then just fix it. And you can see we have got an error. All right, so this is this is a good thing that it, it actually has come up. Now, what 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 is the error essentially? And when you get all of this code, you have to actually try and look at it and see what the problem is. And I can see that it says anchor is equal to right is the problem. Okay. Um, and it says line 33. Now, essentially, it's always going to be, if your program was working previous to you just doing some code, it's going to be a problem with that code. 
Now at the bottom here, it gives us actually from the tkinter module, it tells us bad anchor, right? And it says must be N for north, I suppose, northeast, east, southeast, south, and so on, or center. Okay, so we want to do E for east. Right, so change that to E, run it again, and there you go. Right, so I've got the score up there. Now, it's a little bit far on the on the the right there. I don't want it exactly that position, but you can see it's it's not too bad. At least it's anchored it to the right of this box. You can see the box because I haven't set the background color for this yet. Um, if I had I had it, let's say, to the to the west. Um, you would notice it would sit on the west hand side or the west side of that. Right. And now you can see it. Right. So I don't have any errors at the minute, of course. Um, so I can close that. And uh, we'll put that at east, right? So the the positioning of it, I'm just gonna put 0 0.82 maybe, just move it a wee bit, and then here I'm gonna do the relative width. Um, I don't need to have all of that, I put it a little bit less and just run that again, just have a look, see what it looks like. Okay, so it's more or less, I think it's a little bit better. It sits just in, because I've got computer science there, so I want this to be similar. Of course, I could do it a wee tiny bit more, possibly, you know, so I could you could play around with these all day so that's the problem with um, using the dot place because you have to do that you have to play around with it a bit um, but anyway i've left that at that what i just need to do to finish up would be to uh, do the foreground and the background so um, just do exactly the same as you've done before so it's fg color and bg is BG color. And if I just run it again, you can see that you're always running your program loads and loads of different times. Okay, so there, looks nice and clean. Now, at some point you might want to start playing with fonts and uh, that's something that's probably worth doing um, is, uh, is playing with a font trying to get your font um, into your uh, program. Now, if you want to do font, we could actually add that into our basic Windows configuration up here and just add an extra one and say text, for example. So we'll say text. And the text is going to be, and we'll put this in brackets, okay? Because we're going to put in here a string and an integer. So I'm going to put, um, string and then comma and an integer so i'm going to say size 20 for my text now the font type is it's quite important that you actually pick a font type that is um, a common font type on all operating systems so if i just go to here um, and pick common fonts families uh, yeah, say so families like that. On OS, on OS, uh, just operating systems. Okay, so hopefully you'll get a sort of an example on a, from some sort of website here. Default fonts and desktop and mobile operating systems. Uh, common fonts to all versions of Windows and Mac equivalents. It's probably a good idea to have a look at that and you'll get a list of them right so there's not actually too many but as you can see you should pick probably one of these so i've picked verdana you can see verdana is available right there on a normal style but you could do any of these ones and then any of these ones in bold as well so um i've picked verdana great right so the next thing i want to do is actually change the fonts in my label here. So I've got that text up here, Verdana is equal to that. And then my label 
I'm actually going to just say after um, after the actually after the text I'll just do fonts equals text right so I run this now just check it out see if it works okay so it's come up saying invalid syntax right that's because I forgot the comma right run that again okay so now you can see it's actually bigger uh, the font type doesn't look actually that much that different essentially from this one but it is Verdana okay I like Verdana it's actually quite a nice neat and tidy one so that works great and it's changed the size so I will do the same for the score I will uh, just put it straight after that text there so I'll say fonts equals text comma and then if I want to change the font at any point later I can just change it up here All right so if I don't like Verdana for some reason it doesn't suit my program I'll change it in the future so run the module and that, now my program's starting to look a little bit more tidy okay that's great 